Hi Aquarius, this is your mid-month July love and relationship reading and I just want to apologize for doing it so late. I was backed up on private readings um, but I didn't forget about you guys. So the first card that I have for you is the five of coins. Okay Aquarius, so I'm just feeling like for some of you, um, you've been feeling left out in the cold lately um, and it's like either someone walked away from you or you walked away from a relationship but nonetheless it's like if you walked away if you were the one that left it's like you didn't want to leave you just felt like you didn't have a choice because it's like the other person had already left anyway so it's like you were in a relationship by yourself okay and I'm just feeling like some of you were dealing with an earth sign um, Virgo Taurus or Capricorn Sun Moon Arising okay because the next card that i have for you is the ten of cups in reverse so i'm just feeling like you were promised a happy family situation or you thought you were going to have a happy family situation with this person and it didn't turn out that way the next card that i have for you is the ten of swords so i'm just feeling like some of you were feeling stabbed in the back you were feeling betrayed it's like this person lied to you they promised you something or they told you something that wasn't true and you might have found out that whatever they told you they was out there doing the opposite okay and this is how you're feeling about it um, you're all up in your thoughts because swords symbolizes um, thoughts and mental and for some of you not for everyone um, because I read for thousands of people so this may not be your message and if this is not your message Aquarius you may want to check your um, your moon and your rising sign okay because your message may lie um, somewhere in another um, reading tarot reading but some of you could be dealing with an air sign Libra Gemini or Aquarius such as yourself but if not you're just feeling stabbed in the back you're just feeling betrayed like your partner they was just on some BS and the stuff that they was telling you wasn't true okay and I'm just feeling like for some of you you found out about it Okay, so the next card that I have is the Four of Cups. So I'm just feeling like um, like you were offering love to a person and you wasn't getting any love back. This is what the Four of Cups symbolizes, okay? Some of you could have been dealing with the water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Horizon. But if not, you know, you was trying everything you could to hold this relationship together. And the other person just was out there playing around. It's like they didn't even give a damn. The next card I have for you is the nine of wands so it's like you're trying your best to stand your ground it's like for some of you i'm just feeling like you have somebody that's in and out of your life that's playing games that calls when they want to that stops around your house or um comes through and sees you when they want to on their damn time okay and it's like you're trying your best to stand your ground but um, you're just finding it really hard because you love this person but you don't want to take their um in and out like behavior it's like one minute they're there and one minute they're not and i'm just feeling like you know you're standing your ground but you're just finding it really really hard to do so okay um, and also it's like you're feeling guarded it's sort of like you have to stay on guard with this person like you can't really show them or tell them how you really feel in fear that they're going to take advantage of you okay the next card that I have for you is a two of wands so some of you Aquariuses are waiting for your partners to get their act together um, I see that it's you know just from the cards that I pulled from this deck I see that it's gonna happen but you're gonna have to go through something before you get there okay I'm just feeling like they're gonna still be on some craziness um, and they're not gonna be doing everything that they're supposed to be doing to help you hold this relationship together I feel that you're gonna get there but it's not gonna be easy getting there okay but you don't care some of you you're like okay I'm willing to wait others you know you're walking away you're like forget it I'm not dealing with this shit no more but you know I'm just feeling like some of you you're willing to wait it out um, for this person to get themselves together the next card I have is a king of wands so some of you could be dealing with an Aries um, I'm sorry not Aries I didn't mean to say that I meant to say a fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius Sun Moon Arising okay this person could be very dominant very aggressive very fixed in a way um, they think very one-sided okay very narrow-minded um, etc etc <laughs> okay I'm just feeling like is their way or the highway Okay, some of you could be dealing with a person with that type of attitude. The next card I have is a temperance card. Okay, this is the Sagittarius card. So this temperance card is in reverse. Okay, so I'm just feeling like for some of you, you may be dealing with the Sagittarius. Um, or you just need balance in this relationship and there is none. Okay, it's like you're doing everything. The other person ain't doing shit. This is just what I see. Okay. 
Um, and this may not be you, Aquarius. If you know if your partner is cross watching, you may be um, stepping out on your partner, and they may be feeling like there's no balance and they're doing everything they can to hold the relationship together um but it's like it's really hard okay the next card i have for you is the devil's card okay so if you look at this card look how this person is trapped down in a cage they're like they're kneeled down um and it's like they're inside of a cage and it's like this is how you're feeling you're feeling trapped you're feeling chained to this person it's like you think sometimes that okay i'm done i can move away from this person it's not going to be that hard and then other days it's not so good for you because other days it's like you struggle and you know you think about this person they're always on your mind you're just thinking about you know how you want things to be how you can change things um you know and you feel like you should walk away but you can't okay you want to transform you want to change but you just can't walk away from this person it's like like i said with this um to a why some of you are just willing to wait it out you know you don't want this person to leave and you know the message that i'm getting is that some of you it's like there's somebody else in this person's life and you know it and you do not want them to step off with this person it's like you know about this person but you just don't know all of the details but you're willing to wait for them to come back around because you feel like you know they're going to come back around they're going to choose you that's what i'm getting with this um i can't even pick this card up this is what i'm getting with this two of wands it's like i'm gonna wait it out because this person going to choose me in the end okay the next card i have for you is the two of swords in reverse so it's like you need to make a decision Aquarius but I just don't see that you're doing it okay and like I said it may be because you're waiting for this person to get right because you just feel like they're gonna come back to you so you don't want to wait you know I mean you want to wait it out you don't want to walk away you don't want to make the decision to leave the person okay because like I said with this devil's card you're feeling trapped you're feeling chained the next card I have is the four of coins. Yeah, see, you're sticking it out with someone out of fear. It's like you're holding on to this relationship for dear life and you do not want to give it up, okay? Even though you may have your friends telling you, you know, to let it go, it's no more there. You're like, no, mm -mm. like I'm not letting her or him have this person. Like I put in all the work, you know, why should I just let this person walk away with someone else? And that's, you know, that's what I'm, I'm just feeling like this is the attitude that some of you guys are taking this month, this mid-month, July the next card I have for you is the Page of Cups. So some of you could be dealing with a younger water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising, okay? And this person may come um, back and tell you something that you don't want to hear, okay? They may tell you some type of information where, you know, either they may um, direct message it to you or they may text it to you. Um, I don't know. I'm just feeling like this person is very childish. They're very immature, and it's like you've been trying to contact them for a while and you you know just been trying to find out like where you've been what you've been up to and i'm feeling like when they come back and tell you what they've been up to you're gonna be like well damn what the hell you could have told me that a long time ago like why you make me wait but i still feel like aquarius you're going to wait on this person okay the next card that I have for you is the Three of Cups. Yes, see, some, there's a three-way, um, not for everyone, but I'm just feeling like for some of you, you know about somebody else that you know your partner is dealing with. This three-way love triangle is what this Three of Cups symbolizes here. This is what I see. This is the message that I'm getting in this reading, but you're still willing to wait on this person. The next card I have is the Five of Cups. So I'm just feeling like some of you are crying over spilt milk. It's like you went through something or you're going through something and it's like you just cannot get yourself up off the ground. I'm like, I'm feeling like some of you are sleeping all the time. Um, you're just depressed, you're sad, and you just cannot get out of this slump because of this person. You're just waiting for them to call you. You're waiting for them to come around. You're waiting for them to tell you what the hell's going on because I'm just feeling like somebody stepped off and didn't say anything, okay? And this is how they left you feeling. The next card I have is the Queen of Swords. Okay, so this is your energy. Um, you know, I'm just feeling like, you know, some of you could be dealing with another air sign. Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. But if not, it's like you're waiting, you're wanting to find out what is going on. And it's like you have this attitude like, um, I'm not going anywhere until I find out what the hell is going on. And no, this other person will not have you. I'm not going to put in all the work and then hand you over to them. <laughs> this is what I'm feeling like, the attitude that you're taking on. Okay? 
The next card I have is the Three of Wands. Yeah, see, you're waiting for your ships to come in. Somebody is patiently waiting. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, fire sign, sun, moon, horizon. But, you know, you're willing to wait it out. You're willing to stick it out. Even though you know that this person may be up to no good. Next card I have is the Six of Cups in reverse. So, for some of you, you may be dealing with someone from your past. It's like you let this person back into your life. They promised you something and you trusted their ass and it was not, it did not turn out the way you thought it would. This is the message that I'm getting for some of you, not for all, okay? Um, for those of you that this message pertains to, you'll know who you are. You know, you let this person make in and you trusted them because they said some good stuff to you like, you know, yeah, things are going to work out this time. I'm going to be different. I'm not going to do the same stuff I did last time. You know, I've changed. They ain't changed. They still up to their old tricks. It probably took like, what, three, five, six months. I don't know. And then they're still doing the same thing. Okay. The next card I have is the Page of Wands in reverse. So like I said, some of you could be dealing with a younger fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Very childlike, very immature, don't know what they want, in and out of your life, and you're sick of it. The next card I have for you is the Six of Swords, okay, in reverse. So this card just means, if this card was in the upright, it would mean that you're moving away from a turbulent situation, but it's not. You got it in the reverse. So I'm just feeling like for some of you, you're not walking away. You're not going anywhere. Okay. And I can see that from the beginning um, when I start, you know, getting the full story of these cards that I pull. It's like, you're not going nowhere. You're going to wait it out because you feel like, why should you be the one that walk away? Why should you be the one that leave? Okay. You're feeling like the, the, the situation is bad, but it ain't that damn turbulent that I just want to give you up <laughs> to somebody else and let him win or let her win. You know, this is just, you know, your attitude about the situation, about your relationship. The next card I have for you is the chariot. Okay, so some of you could be dealing with the cancer. If not, you're just trying to move in a new direction, um, your way of thinking, your way of doing things with this person. Okay, but you're not getting um, any help, any cooperation. I'm feeling like you're meeting resistance because this person, like I said, is just not stable. They're in and out of your life and you don't know what the hell to do about the situation. The next card I have is a seven of wands. So I'm feeling like when this person does come back around, you're going to be standing your ground, okay? Um, and even though you still love them and you want them in your life and, you know, when they're not around, you're very sad, depressed, you know, just wanting to know what the hell is going on. When they come around, I'm just feeling like you want to be like, listen, this is not a revolving door relationship. So if you want to be here, stay here. If not, then stay going, okay? Next card I have is the empress. Yeah, so... This is showing that it's going to be a rebirth of this relationship, okay? Now, how you handle it is up to you, Aquarius, okay? But I'm feeling like this person is going to come back, of course, because they treat this relationship like it's a revolving door. It's like they're in and out of it, okay? And I'm just feeling like they're going to come back. They're going to come back with a story, of course, okay? The next card I have for you is the Seven of Cups. So I'm just feeling like you're going to have options, okay? Because um, it's like somebody has their eye on you, and the reason why I know that is because of this Empress card, rebirth, a growth of a situation. So it's like somebody either has their eye on you and you're going to have options. Um, but I'm just feeling like you don't want those options. Either you you probably know who this person is, um, these options that you have. It may be more than one person, but you're just stuck on this one person. That's all you care about. Like You don't even see the other options that are out there for you. The next card I have is the Three of Coins. So it's like you're working really hard on this relationship, okay, to get it to where you want it to be. The next card I have is the Six of Wands, okay? So you're going to be victorious in the end, okay? you it's Things are going to work out in your favor, even though you had to go through everything that you went through just to get a victory out of this situation. But you're going to be victorious in the end. The next card I have is a nine of coins. So this card is just telling you, like, yeah, don't forget about yourself, Aquarius. You know, do things that make you happy. Like, I'm just feeling like some of you is just worried about this other person's happiness. Like, you want them to be happy. You want to change. You want to see what you can do to make things better. But don't forget about yourself, okay? Because you need to be happy, too. And they're not doing a damn thing to see that you're happy. The next card I have is a king of coins. So some of you could be dealing with a earth sign. Um... Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Horizon. This person is very stable. Um, it's like they may sometimes act like a father figure. They may think they can boss you around sometimes. Um, their attitude is 
you know, I'm always right. You may, you may be wrong. Like, this is how they may treat you. Okay, I'm just feeling like some of you may be dealing with that type of person. Next word I have is the will in reverse. So it's like your cycle is not complete with this person. Like I said, they're coming back around, okay? And I'm just feeling like you're going to be victorious in the end in this situation, but you're going to have to, you know, get through what you're going through, okay? Some of um, The next one I have is the Hermit card. So some of you could be dealing with a Virgo, okay? Or if not, it's like you're just really like you have really been doing some deep thinking like spiritually going within to see how you can make things different you're waiting on this person to come back you feel like they are coming back and you're like okay you know i'm just going to try to make things different this time um but just know aquarius it may not be you that has to do any changing okay maybe the person your partner who's skipping out um treating this relationship like a revolving door but nonetheless you've just been doing a lot of thinking about it yeah, see, the next card I have for you is the Ace of Swords. So it's like you're going to get a new beginning with this person, okay? Whoever your partner is, you're going to be victorious. You're going to get a new beginning with this um, Ace of Swords. And I'm just feeling like, you know, this time, you know, with this new beginning, you're going to put your foot down and you're just going to let them know, like, this relationship is, you know, it got to be right or I just can't keep going through the same thing with you. The next card I have is the Two of Cups. So, yep, see, somebody's going to come back around. Either somebody new is going to come in your life um, or somebody's going to come back around, okay? And this Two of Cups means a union, okay? So it's like I'm feeling like for some of you, you know, you will get it right in the end. The next card I have for you is Justice. So some of you could be dealing with the Libra, okay, um, air sign. But if not, it's like you're going to get justice in this situation. Things are finally going to balance itself out. You just have to be patient. And you may not have much of that after all these cards I seen from the beginning that you were going, <laughs> the stuff that you were going through. But the next card I have is a Judgment card. So you will be giving somebody a second chance, okay? Just a Judgment card symbolizes new beginnings. Just when you thought things were over and done just when you thought there was nothing else to become of what you th you know what you had um and you know what you want out of this relationship it's like you give someone a second chance they come back and i'm just feeling like this is what it's going to be with this ace of swords yeah see and the next card you have is a lover's card so somebody's going to come back with a song going to dance in a story and i'm just feeling like you know you're going to give them a second chance and there's nothing wrong with that but you know this time i'm just feeling like even though you're going to be victorious in this situation let me move these cards down some so you can see them even though you're going to be victorious in the situation aquarius i'm just like this time you're going to put your foot down you're going to let this person know that you want to balance okay you don't want to keep doing everything because this is what i'm i'm feeling like some of you out there that are doing and if this is not you aquarius this may be your partner feeling this way that they're doing everything and you're not doing enough or you're not doing anything and you're treating the relationship like a revolving door okay Okay, so I have message cards for you, and the first card that I have for you is imprisonment, okay? So I'm just feeling like this is how some of you guys are feeling. You're feeling like you're in prison with this relationship, and you just want that to change. You do not want to feel like that anymore, okay? The next card I have is concern. So it's like you're really concerned whether this person is going to be around. You're, you're, it's like you fear that you're going to lose out on this person to someone else, okay? But I don't see that happening um, because, like I said, I just see that you're going to wait it out, okay? And you're going to get a new beginning, okay? So um, even though you're concerned, and you should be because of the cards that you were getting in the beginning, but I don't see that you're going to have to be concerned for um for a long time in the end and i'm just feeling like some of you may be sticking around because you have children with this person okay and it's not that easy to just say you're done and over with because even though you may be done and over with they still got to come around you to see their child and even though they treat this damn relationship like a revolving door it's like they come around and they be like i just want to see my child you're like oh my god like that's all you want like seriously that's not all they want they just want to play around right now and i'm just feeling like they're going to come back to you okay in the end the next card I have, um, the next message card I have is thoughts, okay? So it's like you've been all up in your thoughts about the situation, about this person, about this relationship, and you just want things to change, okay? The next card I have is toil and labor. So you've been putting in the work, Aquarius. You know, you've been doing what you're supposed to do. You just be waiting, you know, you're waiting for your partner to come around and do the right thing. Next card I have is despair in reverse, okay? So it's like... You know, you're going to come up out of feeling very sad, very depressed. I'm um, feeling like 
you know you can't get up out of bed you don't want to eat you don't want to get up and go to work you don't want to get up and go to school um very soon you're going to be coming out of that and you're not going to feel like that anymore and i'm just feeling like this person is going to come back around and maybe they're going to give you some um answers to your questions you may not like it okay and some of it may be bullshit but i'm feeling like they're going to come back around yeah see the next card i have is coffin okay so this relationship has not died yet Okay, because this coffin card is in the reverse so it's still hope for you guys um, it's just that you know when this person comes back around it's like um, I'm just feeling like they're not gonna change okay they're gonna come back as they are and I'm just feeling like you're gonna give them a second chance because you still love them so don't expect an immediate change out of your partner Aquarius because I don't feel like you're gonna get that but I just feel like they will be coming back around the next card I have is pathway. See, so there is a pathway that you have to get through to get this happy ending. And if you look closely at this card, there is light at the end of the tunnel, okay? So you can expect that with this person, okay? So like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. Sorry it took so long to get your reading out, Aquarius. Um, and I just want to say thank you to everyone who's getting a private reading from me, um, who's gotten one in the past. Thanks for coming to my channel and supporting Cards Never Lie Tarot, um, and I will see you next month. Bye.